tap integrates with Zen Foro, vBulletin and several other free WordPress plugins like BBPress, BuddyPress, SimplePress etc. But the integration with the free WordPress forum plugins is limited because you can only control the post access to the forums. You can set up tap to only allow registered members to post but you cannot prevent the read access to the forums. That's the extent of integration with the free forum plugins. But with paid plugins like Zen Foro, the integration is full-fledged. You can control access to the forums at membership level. For example, say you have three membership levels, free, gold and platinum. You want to allow your free members access to forum A, gold members access to forums A and B, and platinum members access to forums A, B and C. You cannot do this with free forum plugins. But if you want this level of granular access control, you can easily do that with DAP and Zenforo. In DAP 4.6, we integrated DAP with Zenforo, but there was just one limitation. DAP did not support automatic login to Zenforo. Users had to log into DAP and the Zenforo forum separately. We are very excited to announce that we have eliminated that limitation in DAP 4.7. Now if the users log into DAP, they will be automatically logged into the forum. Now let's take a look at how you can integrate DAP and Zenforo. The very first thing you need to do is make sure you are on DAP 4.7 or above. In the older versions of DAP, automatic login to Zenforo is not supported. You will find detailed Zenforo integration instructions if you go to our website digitalaccesspass.com and visit the documentation page. You will find all the setup instructions here. Step 1 is to install the Zenforo forum. You can click on this link for detailed instructions on how to do that. Say that you install Zenforo under a folder called forums or under a folder called community. Step 2, you have to FTP to your site and you will find a folder under DAP plugins DAP underscore Zen API. Now under DAP underscore Zen API folder, there is a file called api.php. All you have to do is take this file and upload it to the forums folder on your site. Now if you install forums under a folder called community, then make sure to take the api.php file and upload it to the community folder. After you upload the api.php file to your forums folder, you will have to generate an md5 hash. You can click on this link to do that. You can enter any string you want and it will give you the md5 hash for that string. Copy that because you will need that in the next step. All you have to do now is edit the api.php file that you uploaded to the forums folder on your site. So right here, edit this file and you will notice that there is this line, rest api equals new of REST API. All you have to do is replace this API key with the MD5 that was just generated. You can insert that value here, save this and upload it back to the forums folder on your site. Zenforo controls access to the forums using something called as user groups. You can log into your Zenforo admin dashboard on your site, click on user groups, list user groups to find the list of the default user groups that comes with your Zenforo installation. You will notice there is a registered user group, there will be an administrator user group. They all come with their own default permissions. For example, this is the registered user group and as you can see these are the permissions assigned to it by default. You can always update the default permissions if you wanted to do something else. All the members that are added to the registered user user group in Zenforo will have these permissions to the forum. If you want the permissions to be different, you can update it and save it and all the members of registered user, user group in Zenforo will automatically inherit that permission. You can always create your own custom user group in Zenforo and just make a note of the user group ID of that user group because that's all DAP needs. Now after you make a note of your Zenforo user group ID that you want to integrate the DAP product with, you'll have to create a string like this and you'll have to enter the string in the DAP products page, notifications tab, select your product that you want to integrate with Zenforo and then enter that string in the plugin notification add and plugin notification remove section. Now here's how you create that string. DAP underscore Zen API is always going to be the same. It's all colon delimited so enter a colon after that. API key is what was generated above uh, during the MD5 hash key generation process. So copy that right here colon Protocol can be HTTP or HTTPS, followed by another colon, API location. The format of that is this, whatever is the name of your site, slash. If your forum installation is under a folder called forum, enter that. If it's under community, enter that. So replace this forum with community if that's where your Zenforo installation is, followed by slash API.php. Now this is the file that we had uploaded earlier to the forums folder on your site. 
So this is the API location. There is no HTTP in front. There is no www in the front. This is the exact format. So just enter this in this section that says API location followed by a colon. Now this is the group ID. Say that the registered user group ID in your Zen 40 forum is two. Replace the group ID here with the number two and that's it. So you will end up with something like this. You will see it right here. I'll copy whatever I have here right here so you can see how it looks. So this is Zen API colon. This is the API key colon HTTP. That's the protocol followed by a colon followed by your site.com slash this is the folder where I have the forum inst installed slash api.php followed by another colon and number two this is the user group ID of the Zen Foro forum to which the users of this free membership product will gain access to when they are registered to this membership product and app. Now when a user registers to this membership level and app they will automatically gain access to the Zen Foro forum their primary user group ID in the Zen Foro forum will be set to whatever is set here. If it is set to number two, then whatever is the permission of that user group in Zen Foro, that's the forum permission the users of this membership level are going to have. After you have completed the integration, testing is really simple. All you have to do is add a user to the product that you have integrated with Zen Foro. And you can do that by just going to DAP Admin, Add Users page. Selecting the product that you have integrated with Zenforo and then select the name and email and add user to product. After the user registration is completed in DAP, the user will get added to Zenforo automatically. Now you will notice that when the user is added to Zenforo, the permission that they are going to carry is the permission that we added in the plugin notification section. I had added the permission, the user group ID as two, which is the registered user group in Zenforo. So when I registered, I was automatically registered to the user group ID called registered in Zen Foro. So whatever is the permission of this group, that's a permission I will have to the forums in Zen Foro. If you are on DAP 4.7, when you log into DAP, you will be automatically logged into Zen Foro forum. But if you are on an older version of DAP, then you will have to log into both DAP and the Zen Foro forum separately. This has been Aprishan. Thanks for watching.